Win the click, get the views. Hello, I'm Alan Spicer, your favorite YouTube expert, and you found me through my title or my thumbnail and clicking is the key. When I first started YouTube two, three years ago, I had a major problem on getting attention. I had a major problem in dragging people in to watch my videos. You're probably the same. You sat there and you wonder why you create such good stuff that is that could educate people or, or help people and they just don't find you. Or someone with a very similar video wins the click and wins the race and off they go to the races. Your video has a few hundred views, they have hundreds of thousands of views, their channel blows up and you feel left in the dust. It took me many months and lots of soul seeking to finally figure out there's a core premise and it is clickable titles and there's four ways to go about it. One, the curiosity gap. How many times have you clicked on a video because it's intriguing, it's promising you something that that might educate you or open your eyes. How Jimmy ate 2,000 chocolate bars in one city. Why skydivers use this specific ring. What crazy thing saved this man's life. Or one of my favorites, why was this building left abandoned? Why is this tower under the ground no longer used? This is what's known as the curiosity gap. It's something that intrigues people to watch an explainer. Something that hooks them in and drowns them in the storytelling. Tom Scott is very good at this. If you've never seen him, he's a British YouTuber that throws out curiosity, old technology, coding, wartime detection radars, explaining why there's a huge city out in a desert in Texas that's never been built, but there's houses planned. If in my title I was just to say, use titanium for jump rings, it's not curious anymore. It gives you the answer if you're a skydiver, but it doesn't intrigue you. It doesn't bring you over to watch the story and listen to the reason. If Game of Thrones episodes were just labelled the spoiler each time, Game of Thrones season three, episode two, Gandalf dies. Game of Thrones season eight, episode four, the dragon's actually made of chocolate. Frozen two, Olaf melts. Then it kind of takes the mystery away. There's no reason for you to look at that title and to try and guess what it means because it's saying exactly what it says on the tin, unless someone's tricking you. And if they're tricking you, you kind of don't care anyway. It's kind of like a headline reading. The curiosity gap is something that hooks them in and makes them listen. Two, the new, the secret, the thing that plays with your brain. It's the fear of missing out. If it's something new, you want to be on it straight away. If it's a secret, you want to be in that little club. I've done it a few times on my channel. Whenever there's a new piece of news or a new feature on YouTube or a secret thing that people don't tend to use that often, I'll sneak it in at the start of the title or I'll put it in the thumbnail. The reason for that is because new and secret plays with your brain. It makes you think that, ah, oh, I've got to get in on this. What, what if I've missed it? What if I never learned this thing? Or if it's relevant to your platform, you're intrigued. You don't be the only one that don't know. Three, worst, best, top. Same as the FOMO. Everyone likes the idea of ranking things. Oh, is so-and-so better than so-and-so? Who earns more money? Who's, you know, someone that we should not pay attention to anymore? If you're searching for cameras, you want to know the best. You don't want to get third. Or you've got a camera and you want to know if you rank in the top 10. You want to know how well you're doing or how well you could be perceived as doing. The foul compilations, people falling off of skateboards, or in our country in the UK, there's you've been framed. They are power words. Worst. Best best, top, things that people kind of gravitate towards or are intrigued. That's why you see top 10s and top 5s and top 20s. Maybe even combined, the best top 10, etc, etc. And four, most titles that are clickable have these two elements, a search element and an intrigue. This is what builds that curiosity gap. And these could be done by the best or the new or the latest or the worst. But most successful titles have a keyword or a key phrase that people are optimizing for and then something that hooks them as a wow or an intrigue. I got one million views in six seconds. Dash, wow, you won't believe this. Both are intriguing, both have a curiosity gap. This video is called Make Clickable Titles Every Time. So the key search term here is make clickable titles and the wow is every time. Or maybe in a video that I'm working on at the moment. The secret to YouTube success that the big YouTubers never tell you. The key phrase there is secret to YouTube success. And the wow is the big channels never tell you. It's that curiosity gap, it's that confusion, it's that intrigue, it's that fear of missing out, it's that ah, it's that grabbing you. Are your titles too direct? Are your titles without whimsy and wonder? Or maybe you just need to level up your video game. Here's a playlist on how to make better videos.